was an amazing experience. Honestly, I'm really happy they gave me the opportunity to come through qualifying. Um, and yeah, it was really great playing at this level. <laughs> were you surprised by the level that you were able to kind of consistently put out there? Hey. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, a little, it was a little bit of a, I wouldn't say it's a big surprise, but being that, I mean, playing against two, qualifying around two players that are top 50 and that consistently perform over not just this year, but multiple years while I'm just coming back from not playing for like three months. This is my first um, like four week trip back. <laughs> Uh, so it was a little bit of a shock to still maintain that level um, going in from in my fourth week. So yeah. What did Coco say to you? Oh, sorry. What did what did Coco came back over to you after the hug, and you guys were both cracking up. What, what was she uh, saying to you? No, we just thought it was funny that we both ended up playing against each other in first round. <laughs> uh, we just hope next time it's in the finals, not first round. <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty much just little jokes. <laughs> you, some good tennis was off from you last night. That first set, you were you were doing some things. What do you, yeah. what do you feel like you're doing this against a top ten player? It's on Tennis Channel. People over the world are watching. It's a, it's a 500 event. What were you feeling in that moment? Uh, I was really just focusing on my game and what I needed to do. I wasn't trying to think how big it is and sometimes it freaks me out if it's gonna be on TV because I'm <laughs> yeah. like. Oh, when I miss a shot, I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> like, what are the commentators saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just try to focus. It's just any other match, really. That's what I try to focus on. At the end of the day, it is a game and something that I enjoy. So I just try to take it, look at the point, and make sure I enjoy myself. Honestly, my game. That's I can't like. That's just how I need to play at this level. That's how you need to play. And either every match you play it can go either way. Everyone's beatable. So it just depends who shows up and plays better that day. And I think with my game style, I just just need to go out there and swing and just give them opportunities to have them control the points and stuff like that. So I'm proud with how I was able to show confidence and uh, play fearless in the way I did. Obviously it didn't go my way and Coco's extremely fast. <laughs> so, uh, it's annoying, okay. Yeah, well, a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, so that was uh, how I performed. Is it harder to be, to be fearless in the pros as opposed to the juniors considering the, the level of the players? A little bit, yeah. I think juniors were just playing junior matches, we know we still have school, like we don't know which way our past is gonna lead so while well. in the pro like this is our job, this is our life, like grown up stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Business. <laughs> um, it's like I don't like I mean obviously it doesn't base on money but at the same time at the end of the day since it's a job and money also comes into the line I'm sure with some of these players so yeah, I feel like there is a different line of pressure sometimes when you're playing in the pros, but I think I'm going to use the advantage of that I'm young and that I have lots of time to help me play fearlessly during these times and matches. What's next? Rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys saw it was all taped up. Luckily, the leg yeah. is pretty much good, though. It's more precaution just to make sure I don't stretch anything more. Um, but yeah, mainly rest, and then I'll play two, two or three more tournaments, possibly ITF, maybe one WTA um, in these next coming weeks, and then preseason. So. Can you talk a little bit about your early with Ray and the foundations that you built and your Which one? Uh, Ray. Ray Benton? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the CEO of where I grew up, um, and. Him and Ali, is who, he was my coach, played a big role of how I grew up and, and the person I am today. And they, the Geico Foundation really helped um, support, sorry, I'm sorry to find the right word, support me through my junior career and growing up. And honestly, I wouldn't be here without them. Um, tennis is an expensive sport. Don't come from 
family that can necessarily pay for everything. So their support really meant, meant a lot to me and helped build. And then Ray and Ollie made sure I was always disciplined. And they, yeah, they really helped me. Obviously, to get a ranking high enough to play full on WTA. <laughs> so, what's the plan to get that? Um, I mean, I just have to. The main goal is honestly to play lots of matches since I'm coming back, but it's just getting matches in and everything. And depending how that goes, it's just balancing the schedule out. I think the game style that I have it takes a little bit more time to build things together because I have so many options that I can do with my game. So, it's just about the process. I'm not really concerned about rankings or anything. I would like to build my game first and make it as strong as it can be. And then I'm sure everything will come <laughs> once that's all connected. With the matches that you played, like in Polly's and then obviously here, and then uh, wow. just practices, what you've seen on the WTA tour, all that sort of stuff, where do you feel like you're pretty comfortable in terms of where your game matches up? With the toy level, and where do you see like there's more gap that you want to try? I think. against someone and then end up losing the, the six match. So, like I said, it's just, um, this week has really shown me what I am truly capable of. So I'm really motivated to get back to work and uh, get a ranking where I can <laughs> play at these tournaments back to back. <laughs> so that's the goal. Are there players on tour that you like watching? Like, who are your favorites to like tune into? Do it I'm going to be honest, I don't really like watching tennis. That's cool, neither do uh, I. Yeah, I'm going to be <laughs> truly honest. My, my grandma loves watching it though, so she would put it on the living room and I'd be like, alright, I'm going to my room. <laughs> but, no, I really like watching um, Kvitova, because she's also a lefty, yeah. and I like her demeanor on the court as well. Um, obviously, Serena and Venus, you watching them at the Open this year was definitely um, a moment to live for. Um, and then I would say Carlos and Francis, those are the two um, men tennis players. That's a good stable. Yeah. It's a good stable of players. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. 